Hi, my name is Emily Izzo and I am the ACME and Visitor Experience Coordinator at the Utah Museum of Fine Arts. Tonight's event is called Envisioning Our Futures Community Dinner and it's all about bringing the community together to talk about what it is we want for our futures. What do we desire? What do we, what do we see that the future holds for us and what would we like our futures to be? So the UMFA is partnering with SpyHop tonight for this session and this session is going to be pretty open. Um, so we're going to have a few activities going on at the same time um, and people will be able to move around freely and choose what activities they want to do. Um, so first we're going to have sort of an icebreaker activity where people will enter the room and they'll get a certain colored dot and then they'll go to the table that corresponds with that colored dot. So they might not be sitting with their friends, um, they might be sitting with people they've never met, but it'll really get people to open up and meet new people um, and hopefully, you know, have great conversations. My name is Laurel Hunter. I'm the marketing director for SpyHop, which is a digital youth media education center in Salt Lake City. We have after school programs for teenagers in film, audio, music, and design. Tonight we are having a dinner party. Um, it's part of a project to have a dinner party across the country, one in every state. It's a multi-generational project. Um, we're looking to find out what people are looking for in the future, their desired futures. Uh, the, the Alliance for Media, Art and Culture will sort of gather all of that information and look for trends across the country. So my name is Matt Mateus and I'm the program director at SpyHop Productions here in Salt Lake City. So the question has been left um, uh, sort of vague for a reason, and I think that's so that we can all talk about what our futures are without sort of giving them an idea. Some people might say they, they, what they envision their future being, you know, um, you know, is a sci-fi movie, you know, of, of flying cars and whatever, or they might just look at um, hoping to see, you know, more equity um, among all people for the future, uh, and that's what we're coming together to talk about. So uh, all of those answers are, are um, valid and valuable answers that um, we hope to get out of tonight. The next activity that we're doing is going to be audio recording. Um, we're going to be doing interviews with the participants, asking them about what they see for their future, what they desire, what they envision. And then we're also going to do um, documentary film, which will be the same thing, asking visitors um, what they desire about their future and what they envision. Um, I'm Haven Johansson. I'm a peer mentor for one of the music programs at Spy Hall. Um, so I am running a little audio session with people who come in. Um, just asking them questions about their desired features and what concerns them and how they could be best supported and getting those desired features. Um, just using microphones like you would a radio interview uh, for anyone who's not comfortable maybe talking to a camera or writing it down. My name is Sully Haslam and at SpyHop I am a peer mentor for the program Pitchnik and I'm also on the Youth Council meeting. So tonight our activity is to bring um, our community together, the Salt Lake community together, and propose the question, um, what is our desired future? And tonight I will be filming people answering that question and hoping to get good responses. I think um, I've had a lot of questions about the event and, and what um, sort of how, maybe how they should answer the question or how they address that question of what their desired futures are and um, I, I again I leave it kind of vague and say I, I, I want you to answer this question but I certainly want them to leave inspired by the discussions that happen and inspired by um, how engaged um, our community is and how much we care and um, I hope that that um, translates into being something that's really meaningful. I hope that translates into um, action so that not only do we have, I'll put it this way, it's one thing to um, suggest or hope for something for the future, but it's a whole other thing to put it into action and actually make something um, happen for that future. And that's, 
That's what this is all about. It's to get inspired and then to actually do and to see that through. I guess I've had a lot of difficulties the last few months after the election, but I'm sort of an optimistic person. And when I see a lot of people meeting together in a community, you know, community-wide discussion like this and so many hopeful things coming out, it makes me, especially the kids, you know, it makes me feel like, um, it's, we're gonna be okay, we are. I do want to inspire people tonight. I think right now the world is in kind of a weird transition and everyone's a little nervous and I can say I'm nervous and I hope that we can bring people together and show that our communities are strong and that we can inspire for change and that together we're united. So.